Hey everyone, I thought we would try to paint a simple watercolor bouquet today and I'm going to paint the bulk of this with a filbert brush which has this sort of rounded top and is very flat. You can see the side. Uh, this is from the Pigeon Letters. It's a three-quarter size and I thought we'd paint a very simple pink and red bouquet. So let's just jump right in and get a lot of water on our brush and then I'm going to pick up a little bit of Scarlet Lake and I'm going to actually mix it with some opera rose. These are Windsor and Newton colors. And I'm going to put a little more water on my brush. This is going to be very loose. The filbert's fun because you can get a nice flat surface like this, but you can also use this finer edge and get a little bit different petal shape. So it's kind of fun to switch things up, especially if you're feeling like you're maybe in a rut. So we're going to do like a five, maybe five um, flower bouquet. And I'm going to start with the broad side of my brush and I'm just gonna sweep a petal like that, almost like a little heart shape. I'm gonna get a little more pigment because I'm gonna have this first flower be pretty, pretty bold. And I'm gonna sweep another petal this way. Um, now I'm gonna go with a little water. I'm not gonna add pigment for this petal. I'm gonna turn it a little on its side. See, I get like a little bit of a different shape if you use the edge. So you can kind of mess around with that. Now I'm gonna go in and get just water. Just gonna get water and I'm gonna pull, pull out some petals here like this, one here. And I'm gonna go right over top of this petal and pull out a petal here. So I like the shape of that flower. I might add a little size to these petals down here. I might go in with a little extra pigment and maybe beef up the petals up here. And just kind of play with the shape of it a little bit. Maybe bring this one out a little. I need a lot of water, very little bit of pigment. And I think I'll do a flower. I'm trying to do like a five arrangement. So Let's do one up close here and then we'll kind of bring some other ones out. I'm gonna kind of swoop this. A lot of opera rose on this one. Maybe a little bit of the red. And we're gonna bring some petals this way. I'm splashing a little here. Just water for this one. Maybe back for a little more pink for this one. Use the side a little. Right, this is very loose, so it's not, okay. So I like that. I like we're getting a lot of variation with the lighter petals and the darker petals. Uh, I do wanna to touch back into the center of this one while it's wet with a little more pigment, just, just to get a little more of the bleed going. And we can touch the outer petal too. Not kind of like that, you can do it here too. All right, so we have like a kind of center going. All right, let's do like some ones that are going off, like up. So I'm gonna use kind of the side of the brush for these. Again, I'm getting a pink and red mix. And let's, let's have one going off this way. And now I'm gonna grab some water like that. It's just little guy, a little guy, and then maybe one up here. That's almost like more like a bud. You won't see the center of it. Let's put it right here. All right, a little water. All right, and I don't like to be even number, so I wanna do a, a flower maybe. Let's go over here. And I'm gonna start with some pink and maybe he's facing this way. Let's try that. And then we'll do, try, try to get an angle on this here because it's a little awkward. I'm just have to stand up and get the petal right. And then maybe just watery, like a watery petal. And then I'll just get a 
little more here. All right, something like that. Something like that. Again, this is going to be really loose and a lot of, we're going to use a lot of water. Okay. Um, okay, so what we can do now if we want is to take a round brush just because we'll get more precision with the point. And we can go in and darken up centers a little if we want to, add a little detail, go back in, make those bleeds a little stronger. Touch our outer petals just a little. And yeah. I like that. So I think I've said before, if you really want your green to coordinate with the red or whatever flower color you're using, mix a little of the petal shade into the, um, the green. So we're going to use a sap green. This is a Windsor and Newton's uh, permanent sap green. And there's a tinge of our pinks and reds mixed in. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sketchily add some stems. Where they might come in. I'm gonna. I'm doing it in a sketchy way so I can put leaves where I want them and not have to paint over a lot of stuff. But it's okay to paint over it too. It's not a big deal. Um, again, kind of just loosely, loosely sketching those in. Okay. So it's starting to take a little bit of shape here, and I think then let's add some. Some leaves, very, again, very loose, loose leaves. We're gonna have some that are peeking out from behind the flowers, like maybe here. And then some that are, let's see, more in the front, like here. We're trying to get like a little bit of a shape going to this, an asymmetrical shape, but sort of the composition that we're looking for. Um, and I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So maybe there's a leaf behind this flower. And again, if you want to kind of show that it's tucked behind, you can make the this part darker, right? These bleeds with the petals are totally fine. That's part of the beauty of it. Okay. Let's see, what else would we have here? Maybe one that goes off this way. Behind that petal. Again, so this is almost like a warm up. We're kind of doing this really fast and really loose. We're, it's not, we didn't plan it out. We didn't think about our composition ahead of time, which, you know, if you're doing sort of a, a piece for something in particular, you, you do want to do. Um, but today we are just kind of going with the flow and seeing, you know, what, what, what do we get? So already I kind of like that, the way it's coming together. I feel like it's loose enough. There's some white space, things aren't too crowded. It's not, you know, perfectly symmetrical on any side. We could add some more detail to it, but for a quick, just for a quick, bouquet just to almost like I said to get you warmed up maybe then you'd go back and rethink your composition a little maybe try something a little different I think our composition for today is pretty good I feel like I want another leaf somewhere but I'm not really sure where I want it so let's hold that thought for a minute let's clean off our brush and go and get pretty really our last color which is um a Mars black. We are going to do our centers in black. Um, so 
So like on this, you'd see the that part. And same for this one. You'd see kind of the center coming out. Totally fine that it's gonna bleed into the red. We don't we don't care. It's the beauty of it. Same with here. You'd see this part, I think. And this one we're not gonna see the center. And then in this one we're gonna see really the whole the whole center of the flower. And again, it's going to bleed with what we have there, but beauty of watercolor. Okay. So you could leave it here. This could just be your warm up. Um, we could add some detail if we want. One thing I like to do sometimes is just to take some of my petal tones. I don't know. I just think it's fun and drop them in um, a few places in the leaves. I don't know. I just like that effect. You don't have to do that at all. If that doesn't you know, feel right to you, then don't do it. I, I still want, ah, like I want to add some more leaves. So this could be the point. This is always the point. Like, will I regret it? Mm, probably, but we'll see. I don't know if I want them to go off this way. Come off here. What if we just like swoosh some in off these stems a little? Like little smaller leaves. Oh, see, I do like that. And then uh, let's maybe here. No, I don't want to do it there. Maybe that's just the answer. It's just here and here. Sometimes you need to step back, step back and look at it. I still, I want something right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Again, might regret it, but you know, this is, we're just having fun. Okay. Um, we can fill in a little with stems and things, but I don't really make things match up necessarily. It, I like the sketchiness of it. It's fine. Um, but if you want to kind of connect, connect the dots with your um, stems, you can do that too. Like that. Just build it in a little. All right. Now, if we want to, last thing, one slightly smaller brush. You could even go with this. This is a little two round brush and go in and just get have your brush be kind of dry. Go into your black. I don't want this very wet because I have a lot of wet paint out here. But I am going to flick in a little bit of um, detail on the centers by just kind of, mm, that's pretty wet, moving my brush around a little. Okay. Um, I'm trying to keep this small and kind of, it's kind of like a dot, dot, dot. And I'm trying not to overdo it, which I usually do, but that's okay. All right, let's see. This is going to be really wet. So is this, but let's see if we can just add a little here. It's almost like you're scribbling a little with your brush. I'm trying to keep it out of the really wet parts for now. Just a little fun detail. And then if you want, you can kind of pull it. Oh, let me put my hand in here. Pull it back in. You can kind of pull from those dots back towards the center. It just connects it up a little. This is with a very dry brush that I'm using right now. Very dry. Pulling, pulling things back. It's kind of cute. You can do that on this one. Just pull back a little from your dots towards the center. This one's just got a little messy because it's a little too wet, but you can try to flick some out and pull them back. But that's okay. And this one, I'm kind of afraid to even try. Could be so wet. So we might have to wait till later. But that gives you the idea of kind of how that would work. 
So very simple, very quick, super loose, fun bouquet. I hope that you'll give it a try and I hope that you'll check out my Skillshare classes on Skillshare.com. Search Sweet Seasons Art and I will put a link so you can um, try for free. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Happy painting.